I'm back. I've just like finished my hair and I'm just currently laying down my edges with the headscarf. I am literally just wearing some workout clothes, these Adidas shorts and this top that says Friday is my favourite F word. For once I'm actually wearing it on a Friday but it's good Friday so I kind of feel bad. Um, I don't I'm gonna be doing my makeup in a minute. I don't usually do my makeup when I'm studying, but I have to like half get ready because I'm going home because it is Good Friday for Easter. And obviously that's a Christian holiday that we celebrate. So I'll be doing that. But right now I'm about to go and do a little bit of yesterday's washing up, which I just soaked and get my water out of the fridge dark in the hallway we have sensor lights but this camera is really good with the light exposure it's so bright in here this is my kitchen guys I'm doing it it's quite messy right now but i'm gonna do a quick swivel so this is my kitchen in my uni accommodation we have really great views we have this like balcony we can't go out there for health and safety but it has really good views so yeah I'm just gonna do the washing up. Oh, you can't see me. Right, yeah. I'm just gonna do the washing up and then make a cup of tea, do my makeup and get started on that revision. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. I saw Keita Girl, Nikita Johnson, who I absolutely love. She's like one of my biggest inspirations. I love her channel, Carol and Nikita. If you haven't heard of them, you're missing out. Like, go and check it out. Their relationship is so cute. Like, he treats her like a queen, she treats him like a king. It's, it's just goals. But um, she actually tweeted me. Um, let me tell you the story. This is a quick story time. Right, so basically, wait one sec. So basically, I was just chilling with my friends and I had liked a tweet of hers. No, I replied to a tweet of hers where she was like slaying, just slaying my life. And um, she liked it and I was a little bit emotional about this because I just love her so much. So I started crying. If you wonder why I'm on my phone, I'm, I screenshotted the tweet and the notification so I'm just finding it. But um yeah she she liked the tweet and i was like crying so my um friend Miriam, she recorded me like freaking out and um she was like she took her because her instagram's on private so she took yeah it was on her instagram sorry because she doesn't really use snapchat she um recorded it and took her instagram off private and tagged her in it so she saw it and then she was messaging her like oh my gosh that's so cute i'm gonna um tweet her and she did and she tweeted me here we go focus it's not even focusing i don't know why i'm tapping my phone i meant to tap the camera this is how you get confused right okay it's not gonna focus but it says you are queen your joy for something so minuscule is admirable and i can't help but want to send you all the love in the world and i said to her that that means so much to me because i just love her so much and she and i was like thank you and she was like no need to thank me your smile was more than enough to make my day this is why i love her like she's such a genuine person like she takes the time to give back to her subscribers and do things like that and you guys might be thinking like why the hell are you so extra like crying first of all i wasn't full on crying i was just freaking out a little bit but i don't think you guys understand when someone who you look up to like acknowledges your presence <laughs> It's a big deal, like, she really inspires me and I love her. So make sure you guys go subscribe to their channel. I'm gonna link it in the description box below. So yeah, that was mini thing. Damn. Put your men away, cause I'm coming for, I'm joking. Why am I like this? Okay, next eyebrow, actually tea break. 
Guys, I think I should get like bonus adulting points for actually getting my buns at somewhat the same point of my head. I'm sorry if I seem uninterested or I'm not listening or I'm indifferent. Truly, I ain't got no business here. Okay guys, I'm just gonna show you me revising basically right now. I just did my makeup. This is what it looks like. This is how I do my makeup every day. Anyway, I show you, probably include a little bit of me doing this in the vlog. Oh my God, I look like a potato from this angle. Um, yeah, so this is basically how I do my vision. So on my head, I'm not so this is an example of how I do my notes so this is I write what it is because I've got two exams like I said earlier this is introduction to events and then I put keywords so right here we've got what is an event and then Maslow's hierarchy of needs you guys if any of you are like business students you probably know about this events management does fall under business um, and then these are like the event typologies so this is an important thing this right here this is how I do my notes so if it's a main topic which has loads of definitions I will write down what all the like sections are so for instance these are all the different types of events you've got local and community events major events obviously these vary from textbook to textbook I have where I got the things from written in fine liner as well because when it comes to exams you have to sometimes reference so I have those there so I remember that and then what I do is I get cards like index cards and I write on it what is a business event for example oh if I can get it out and then on the back I have what business events is now there's quite a few business events so behind those I have what those individual ones are and it's just the same concept what is it and I usually have an example on there sometimes which I write in the color so yeah that's basically how I do my notes What I would do to take away this fear of being loved, allegiance to the pain. Now I fucked up and I'm missing you. I'll never be like you. I would give anything to change this fickle minded heart that loves fake shiny things. Now I fucked up and I'm missing you. Hey guys. So I finished revising and I just got dressed because my mom is coming to pick me up um, in a minute. So yeah, uh, let me just show you guys what I'm wearing. So I'm just wearing this black and white striped blazer that has these zipper details. And this is from Asda George actually. My mom got it for me. I don't know how she finds these cute clothes in the supermarket because I never see them. And then I'm just wearing this like simple v-neck shirt that has like the lace details and that is from Misguided. Um, these are just black leggings from Primark and those are my socks. So <laughs> that's basically what I'm wearing. Um, I have just like packed everything. So like my suitcase is there. I opened it because I had to get my charger lead for this camera out. And you might think, why do you have so much stuff when you're going home for the weekend? Well, it's because I, I always bring my washing home when I go home. And I have a lot of washing. I've got sheets and towels. Um, so yeah, I literally just, isn't my um, background so cute? Thumbs up if you love Disney literally just imported like all the files from today's vlog that are gonna go up and let me know if you like this kind of like uni student lifestyle vlog I don't know I'm just trying it out I'm just trying out things that I think that I like to film and that I think people enjoy to watch but if you don't like it leave me a comment and I won't do it again actually that's a lie I'll probably do it <laughs> I'm in the lift now going down I have to get in the other lift because my bag's too heavy to drive down the stairs so yeah I'll see you guys again
Okay guys, I'm in the car now. My sister no. and my mother. We're going to Buddha Valley now, which I didn't know before, but that's see, where we're going. Look, me on it. I can't even see you. Which is weird because it's usually quite good in low light. Oh there we go. Okay. Can you FaceTime me? This is a camera. <laughs> Who are you doing it to? I'm vlogging. Oh. You're like this. I'm doing a vlog in the day, the, a day in the life of Can an events management student. Because I was on YouTube and I was watching like all these uni videos and there's loads for um, like law students, medical students. There's no information on the YouTube about being an event management student. So I was like, I'm gonna fill that niche. Mm. You're welcome every mm -hmm. future event manager <laughs> you're welcome okay so yeah as per usual in the car we're listening to emily sande because there's no other music ever invented oh my gosh no show me that again please my mom has fully purchased an emily sande show. is that her face yeah wow I thought you would have said something like that. I can't even complain because I have, I would do the same. In fact, I did do the same thing with Justin Bieber. And I would get a Diggy Simmons shirt too, yes, but, but I, I can't find anyone. Down on him. Okay, mom, but how was I supposed to know that when it, the lady was like, hi, this is Emily Sande, that they were being serious? I thought it was someone trying to prank you. I was trying to spare your feelings like a good child. Just rude. Did you notice how I bought that big old suitcase this day for the weekend? Because I have all my books in it, all my tripod, washing. You filming? You got washing. Yeah, I just did my washing, but somehow my basket is full again. To be fair, it's all whites because I didn't wash my whites because I didn't have enough, <laughs> and I wasn't wasting that two pounds. It's actually quite a crime that you have to pay two pounds twenty-five to wash your clothes at uni. So if I charge you one ninety five, no. <laughs> My advice to all uni students to save money if you can take your washing home. The solid advice right there. Yeah, and you'll save a lot of money. You'll save half of the money you would have spent if I only charge you one ninety five instead of two ninety five. No, mum, you're not charging me. She's dodging the <laughs> What about my labour, my labour of my machine? I wash the clothes myself. The labour of the machine and my electricity it's and my water. Like two washes. And so really, my soap. That's probably like two pounds worth of bills. Sit back. If you want, I'll bring my own soap. I'm not going to tell you again, girl. Wow, this lighting though, so good. That was sarcastic, in case you couldn't tell. Do to take away this fear of being loved, allegiance to the pain. Now I fuck up.